Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of SNL, Saturday Night Library Trivia. This series was created by Carrie and Amber at the Powell Branch, and I am your host, Mandy, also from the Powell Branch. Here are the rules. Today, there are three rounds of trivia. Grab a piece of paper and a pen if you want. Feel free to pause this video at any time. There is no time limit. I'm going to say minimal cheating this week, <laughs> because there is an opportunity for cheating, possible cheating. And the prize for the winning person or team is that you are a genius. The category today is Believe It or Not. Round one is Believe It or Not. <laughs> round two is Name That Weird Animal or Plant. And round three is Crazy But True. So these are all going to be kind of weird facts. And um, it's either going to be true or false or it's going to be multiple choice. And then the Name That Weird Plant is right in, which is where the cheating comes in. We'll get to that. All right, get ready. People used to think that the barnacle goose actually hatched from a goose barnacle. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I like that uh, 40s uh, newscaster voice. What? All right, round one. Believe it or not. True or false, the only letter to not appear in the periodic table is J. True or false, birds don't have taste receptors for sweet foods. True or false, Americans eat more macaroni and cheese than any other country in the world. I feel like I started to do a Jeremy Clarkson there, Top Gear fans, I was like, in the world. <laughs> True or false, there are more Lego minifigs on Earth than actual people. This is a fun one. True or false, Frederick Bauer, the founder of Pringles, requested to be buried in a Pringles can. His children honored that request. True or false, once your tonsils are removed, they can never grow back. True or false, it snowed in the Sahara Desert, February 1979. True or false, killer whales can get rabies. True or false, jellyfish have a lifespan of four to seven years. True or false, jousting is the state sport of Illinois. True or false, pure cacao can prevent tooth decay. I don't know why I put question marks after all these. <laughs> tooth decay? <laughs> sorry, sorry, grammar hounds. It shouldn't be there. True or false, when humans are blindfolded, they will naturally walk in a straight line. True or false, sharks kill more people than selfies every year worldwide. True or false, dogs can be allergic to humans. True or false, there are more French restaurants in New York City than there are in Paris. True or false, no president has ever been an only child. Right, we're talking about the president themselves, not like they had an only child. The, the president, the actual guy, the actual president.
True or false? There are seven varieties of mushrooms that can glow in the dark. True or false? Crows will forgive humans who have mistreated them. True or false? Mammals with bigger brains have longer yawns. If you just did a big long yawn to irritate your significant other or your child, please give yourself a point. <laughs> Those dad jokes forever. And question 20. A single strand of spaghetti is called a spaghetto. True or false? All right, round two, name that weird animal or plant. This is where you can cheat. <laughs> um, but some of these animals and plants are very obscure. I, I had to look them up. So in this round, I'm gonna give you a little bit more time. If you on your phone or device can find this answer by the time I switch to the next slide, I will count it even though you kind of cheated because these are hard. All right, here we go. Question one, look at his little toes. Question two, <laughs> he looks so angry. Question three. decide if this guy's scary or cute. He might just be scary cute. <laughs> Question four. Question five. <laughs> These guys are so cute. I'll give you a clue. This guy is um, from, I think from other parts of Central America, but is definitely um, native to Mexico. Oh, yeah, I just realized I have no idea how to pronounce this guy. You guys are gonna have to correct me. I, I do not know how to pronounce this guy's name. Some of these are really hard names. <laughs> Question six. Question seven. Wow. What question eight? <laughs> so cute. These guys are probably horribly vicious, like who knows, but he's adorable. <laughs> Question nine. 
Question nine. I put in the uh, happy-go-lucky and then the dark side for this bird because I thought that they were both pretty hilarious. He looks like the cover of a Netflix horror movie on the right. <laughs> Whoa, question 10. <laughs> Man, some of these are it's like, is this an alien? <laughs> is this a real creature? This one's native to the United States, y'all. Just saying, not to Ohio, but. Question 11, don't overthink this. It's what you think it is. Question 12. Question 13, I'll give you a clue, this is a fruit. A delicious fruit, actually, it's really good. Incredibly hard to find. <laughs> Question 14. I'll give you a clue on this one. This one is also can be indigenous um, to Mexico and Central America. I knew it by another name. I'm going to use the, um, the Spanish name for it, but uh, I'll tell you the other name too. Question 15. Question 16. Question 17. <laughs> Question 18. The car is a clue. <laughs> There are all these librarian urban legends like I, I don't want to give it away i parked my car for a conference and i came back two and a half days later and it was covered <laughs> i don't know if any of those are actually true this is the librarian version of like an urban legend question 19. And question 20. I'll give you a clue on this one. Um, Jamaica. 
That's my clue. three is crazy but true question mark it's going to be uh, multiple choice and you have to pick one every now and then there's a question where you had to pick two question one in scooby-doo shaggy's real name is norbert norris norville or ned Question two, dinosaurs needed to eat this to be able to digest their food. Rocks, grass, hair, or salt? If you think of who dinosaurs are related to, it might be a clue. Question three. Surgeons who do this for three hours a week perform 27% faster and make 37% fewer mistakes. Golf, video games, knitting, or CrossFit? Question four, which of these two sounds were combined to create the sound of a lightsaber? So this is gonna be pick two of the four. Speeding train, an idle film projector, a TV set buzz, or a screeching hawk? Question five, apples, pears, and peaches are all in this family. Cucumber, rose, tomato, or almond? Question six. There is an island off of the Bahamas that is entirely populated by swimming what? Chickens, humans, pigs, or dogs? Question seven, Cookie Monster's real name is Sid, Bob, Lloyd, or me no member. <laughs> so it's not a very good Cookie Monster impression. It's, my, it's all I can do. Question eight, the largest living thing on earth is a whale, a coral reef, a tree, or a jellyfish? Question nine, lettuce is related to tulips, Brussels sprouts, sunflowers, or cabbage? Question 10, there is an island off of New York called Just Enough Room Island. The island contains two things, so you're going to do two of the four. Is it a tree, a boat, a house, or a school? Question 11, what is forbidden at Wimbledon? Drinking, cursing, kissing, or shouting? Question 12, which of these is a federal crime? Stealing your roommate's Netflix? Driving with a blood alcohol level of 0 .007, burning property without owner consent, or borrowing a car without permission.
Question 13. Why do ashtrays still appear on airplanes even though smoking is banned? Is it for the crew? Is it because it would cost too much to remove them? Is it actually a phone charger? Or is it in case somebody gets busted? Question 14. The first telephone book came out in 1878. How many names were in it? 50, 75, 85, or 1,000? Question 15. In 1859, the first person crossed Niagara Falls in or on a boat, a barrel, a tightrope, or a glider. Question 16. The first recipe for chocolate contained sugar, cinnamon, chilies, or vinegar. This clue might be, think about who invented chocolate. Question 17. Who was the only president to get married in the White House? Washington, Cleveland, Theodore Roosevelt, or Jackson? Question 18. What do the pits of cherries, peaches, plums, and apricots all have in common? Are they full of vitamin C? Are they worth a lot of money? Are they digestible by humans? Or are they poisonous? Question 19. Why are barns red? Is it... Uh, because it's cheap to paint a barn red? Is it because of the visibility? Is it tradition? Or is it necessity? And 20. How many stomachs does a cow have? One, two, three, or four? All right, it's time to separate the believe it's from the nots. Round one, believe it or not. True that the only letter to not appear in the periodic table is J. Question two, birds do have sweet receptors. What they don't have is the receptor to taste spicy stuff. So they, if they eat capsaicin, they, they don't respond to it, chickens included. Because they eat the spicy pepper, they poo the spicy pepper, and then new little baby peppers grow. So they have adapted to not be able to taste spicy food at all. Question three. Americans do not eat the most macaroni and cheese in the world. Canada does. Can you believe it? Believe it. Question four. It is true. <laughs> there are more Lego minifigs on Earth than people, which is why we've all stepped on one. Five. True, the founder of Pringles did have his ashes put in a Pringles can and dispersed, I'm guessing. Or maybe they're still in there. I don't know. False. Your tonsils can grow back. I didn't even know this. If they leave a little bit of tonsil, it can totally grow back. Seven. Is true, it did snow in the Sahara Desert. The last time was February 1979. So this February, when it snows every day, just remember that it even snowed in the Sahara once. It's sad. February is a strange month. Eight. You guys, <laughs> killer whales can get rabies. It turns out only mammals can get rabies, but any mammal can get rabies. So, I mean, I guess if they're tiny, maybe they'll just die from it, but um, killer whales can get rabies. Dolphins <laughs> can get rabies. The World Health Organization has never been able to confirm a case, but how would they? The ocean keeps her secrets. Kill rabies. <laughs> Crazy. 
false. Jellyfish, and not every jellyfish, but there are species of jellyfish that are ba- technically eternal. So they can kind of regenerate parts of their body. They have to be killed to die. So they don't, um, they don't have any like natural diseases or anything. Not every jellyfish, but some. It's crazy. 10. False. Jousting is the state sport of Maryland, not Illinois, but it is the state sport of Maryland. <laughs> 11. Pure cacao can prevent tooth decay, but it ha- can't have any sugar in it, which would be disgusting. Like, it would be really gross, but it actually forms a layer of antioxidants on your teeth. Same thing, I, I read a BBC article a while ago, like, black tea, if it doesn't have sugar, actually has natural fluoride and has a little bit of iron in it, which is good for your teeth, but it stains. Both of these stain. False. When humans are blindfolded, they naturally go in a circle. It might be a big circle, it might be a little circle. Humans have to have a vo- like a visual point to focus on to walk in a straight line. Which I guess is why when you know when people are like lost in the woods, they go in a circle. That's why they don't have a like a point to, to focus on. 13. Selfies definitely kill more people worldwide than sharks do. Sharks are not trying to hurt humans for the last time. Also, selfies are dangerous. Be careful. <laughs> 14 dogs can be allergic to humans, just like we can be allergic to them. It's crazy. True, there are more French restaurants in New York City than there are in Paris, which makes sense if you think about, like, you know, Paris still wants, like, Middle Eastern food and, like, different, like, you know, European types of food. So, yeah, there are more, there are more French restaurants in New York City than there are in Paris. True, no president has ever been an only child. They have had an only child. A couple, two presidents have had twins, but no president themselves has ever been an only child. 17 is false. There are actually 70, 70 varieties of mushrooms that glow in the dark, (laughs) y'all. The world is a magical place. 18, also false. Crows don't forgive. Crows don't forget. (laughs) Generations, crows will teach their generational, like their family, which, (laughs) which humans mistreated them and they will hate them forever. They will not trust them forever. (laughs) There was a study in England where they put on um, different masks and then either chased off the crows or fed them. And generations of crows remembered it. They've been doing this study since 1970. Crows are amazing true mammals with bigger brains do have longer yawns so the next time you yawn for like 13 seconds you're smarty that's what it is and 20 true a single strand of spaghetti is called a spaghetto i don't know why you would only have one strand of spaghetti but it is a spaghetto all right here's where you could cheat if you wanted a little bit name that weird animal or plant also um these are very rare plants and animals so my pronunciation is probably not going to be great put in the comments how you really pronounce some of these i apologize in advance Number one is a Western Tarsier. I'm guessing it might be Tarsier. They are cute as a little button. Two is a bald Yukari. He just, he's like, Mondays, am I right? <laughs> I feel like he's got the craziest look on his face. Three is a Matamata. It's a variety of turtle. They're pretty cute. They got a big long neck, though. Four is a Lowland Streaked Tenric. He looks like he's a really big fan of, like, a sports team and, like, got all painted up and then put on a weird costume. (laughs) He's pretty cute, too, though. Five is an... uh, Axel. (laughs) I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, It is uh, a Mexican species, I think also Central America. Pretty cute, related to the salamander. Six is a proboscis monkey. (laughs) He looks like he's got a short-sleeved shirt on. Seven, this is a puss moth larva. It is native to England and a couple other European countries. And its look is meant to scare you off. If it doesn't scare you off, it can spit acid. <laughs> this is literally the little dinosaur in Jurassic Park. Eight is a ground pangolin. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Put in the comments if they're vicious. I hope they're not. They look so sweet. <laughs> Nine is a shoebill. It is native to some part of the United States. I think the South, maybe? Ten is a star-nosed mole. It looks like an alien. If he can move that nose, I'm out. (laughs) That's it. Eleven, Venus flytrap. Don't overthink it. Twelve, this is a corpse flower. Um, It smells like rotting flesh to attract the insects that are going to pollinate it. So, seems unpleasant. It looks unpleasant. Corpse flower. 13, Hand of Buddha, or Buddha's Hand. It is a kind of a citrusy fruit. Um, I really enjoy it. My Kroger had it, like, for two weeks and has never had it again. If you see one, buy one. They're really, they're actually really tasty. Um, yeah, very citrusy. Nice taste. Very, kind of sweet. Very nice. 
14. This is achiote, also known as annatto seed. I looked it up to make sure that it was both. Um, used a lot in Mexican cooking. Uh, I make soap and I use it as a soap colorant, so it's got a lot of uses. Kind of a strange plant, though. 15 is Romanesco broccoli. It totally looks like it's an alien fruit or something. 16 is cherry moya. It is a type of fruit. 17 is pink ladies slipper orchid. If you didn't say orchid, that's okay. If you said pink lady slippers, that's okay. 18 kudzu. Scourge of the South. I don't know if it actually eats cars, but there, I mean, the rumor is it can grow like a foot a day or something crazy. 19. Oh, I am not going to pronounce this right. Jabucaba? Um, it turns out this is a type of like fruit that grows on the bark of the tree instead of the branch. This is edible. Oh, and I forget where it's from, but um, the culture that lives in this area makes wine and stuff out of it. So it's edible. That If I looked at that all day long, I would think that was poisonous, but it's not. It's edible. Crazy. And 20 is Aki. Um, this is used a lot in Jamaican cooking. Kind of a crazy looking plant too. If you um, said mungustine, you, you were close. It, they look similar, but this is Aki. All right, crazy but true round three. Scooby-Doo, Shaggy's real name is Norville. Two dinosaurs, just like birds, need to eat needed to eat rocks to digest their food. Notice I put that in present tense because I believe in Jurassic Park. <laughs> Surgeons who play video games have better um, hand dexterity and therefore do better when they're performing surgery. So, video games, there you go. The two sounds combined to create the sound of a lightsaber are an idle film projector and a TV set buzzing. Apples, pears, peaches are all in the rose family. The rose family actually has a lot of fruits and vegetables. It's one of the agriculturally most successful plant families on earth. It's crazy. Six, there is an island off the Bahamas that's entirely populated by swimming pigs. Google it. It's magical. The pigs are like, hey. Like, pigs actually can really swim. Like, they're good at it. <laughs> Sid is Cookie Monster's real name. Somebody asked him, hey, Cookie Monster, what's your name? And he's like... Sydney, me think, or Sid. <laughs> so, um, to the best of his uh, ability, it's Sid. The largest living thing on Earth is a tree. This is the General Sherman. It is a redwood. It's enormous. If you see the size of the human, that's like the scale. If you said coral reef, good guess, but um, I think coral reefs are technically not classified as one huge, like they're not one organism, like a, like a tree would be. Nine, lettuce is actually related to sunflowers. Again, the sunflower family has a whole bunch of, like, vegetables and fruits in it as well. Ten, oh, I love this island. <laughs> Just enough room island. Look at it. It has a house and a tree. <laughs> it's got a little, uh, little seating area, too. But isn't it darling? I love this. I love this Just Enough Room Island. Eleven, cursing is forbidden at Wimbledon for the people playing tennis. So, the line judges have actually been educated to recognize curse words in, like, a variety of languages, just to make sure. <laughs> Twelve, it is a federal crime to steal your roommate, friend, whatever's Netflix. All of the rest of these are state laws. Um, I'm sure that there's some, <laughs> some federal, like, it's, arson is illegal in every, in every state. But, stealing your roommate's Netflix, federal crime. Thirteen, ashtrays are still on airplanes in case you get busted. <laughs> like, if you try to smoke on an airplane, they need somewhere to put it out that's safe, and then you get heavily fined. <laughs> that's also a federal crime, I think. Fourteen, first telephone book had 50 people in it. Fifteen, in 1859, the first person to cross the Niagara on a tightrope, and that's a picture. How insane. Sixteen, the first recipe for chocolate was from the Mayans, and it contained chilies. It was bitter. It did not have sugar in it. It was supposed to be a medicine. Um, even now, if you, um, sometimes if you can get, like, a good, like, you can get spicy chocolate, it's pretty great. But it has a lot of sugar in it. <laughs> the original version did not. Seventeen, Cleveland was married in the White House, and that is his bride. It was, a, I looked up, there are tons of, like, illustrations. Everybody got real excited. 18. The pits of cherries, peaches, plums, and apricots are poisonous. They contain a variety of cyanide. Um, I think you have to eat, well, I don't know how many. Don't, don't eat them. <laughs> I was going to be like, you'd have to eat a lot to get sick. Don't eat them. They contain cyanide. It's not worth it. Don't do it. 19. Bards are red because of cost. The red paint is actually made from iron oxide, which is one of the most prevalent um, paint ingredients on earth. So it's cheap to paint a barn red. And 20. Cows only have one stomach, but it has four compartments. So if you said four, you still get it wrong, but technically one stomach, four compartments. 
So, how did you do? Zero to 20? I can't believe it. 20 to 40? Mostly true. And over 40, you are Robert Ripley himself. You know all the believe it's, you know all the knots. You read all those National Geographics. <laughs> Thanks for playing, everybody. Next week, our theme is very special. We're going to be doing voting and presidents to get ready for the new election. So we will see you then. Bye.